Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, we're on the sixth episode of my Arrondissement Guide. So that means that we're in the sixth Arrondissement. Who'd have thought? Sixth episode, sixth Arrondissement. Hmm. You know what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. So why don't you come and join me on Travelling Fabulously. Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, we're exploring the sixth Arrondissement of Paris on my sixth episode of Arrondissement Guides to Paris. That's right, we're in the sixth. And thank God I'm not a New Zealander, because otherwise I'd be saying something else completely different instead of six. 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 I'm sure there won't be any more bad jokes like that throughout this episode. Hmm. Sorry, New Zealanders. I'm here in the Jardin de Luxembourg, which is also located in the six. You can check more out about the Jardin de Luxembourg in my video just here. Yeah, that's right, the link just up there. Hmm, I did a whole video on it. The Jardin de Luxembourg is located in the six and of course was built by Marie de Medici to be the Jardin or garden for her palace. Now that palace is home to the French Senate. So if I hang around long enough, maybe I might get to see Macron or Macaroon as I like to call him. Mm. As the Jardin de Luxembourg is located in the six, some Parisians call the sixth arrondissement Luxembourg, which is terribly confusing if you're actually from, you know, Luxembourg. Mm. Speaking of Luxembourg, I actually did a video on that one as well. You can check that one out in the link just up up here. Mm. Or here. 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 Let's get moving along, as they say in New Zealand, for my guide to the Sex Arrondissement. Six Arrondissement. Told you. Old joke. Good joke. Mm. One of the busiest times to come to Paris is in August, as combined with July, they are probably two of the biggest tourist months. But what most people don't realise until they get here is that Parisians use this time to go on holidays and leave Paris. Hence, the reason why most of the streets have little to no traffic and the air is pretty clean. So, it's a great time to come and walk around. The Sixth Arrondissement has always been a beacon to French writers who have made the Arrondissement home, like Emily Litt, who wrote a dictionary of the French language, and, of course, Voltaire, who loved the area whenever he was in Paris. Le Bata Eve, or The Drunken Boat, as it is translated in English, is a poem written in 1871 by Arthur Rimbaud. The poem describes the drifting and sinking of a boat lost at sea, Arthur Rimbaud was gay and had a tumultuous relationship with fellow poet Paul Verlaine. Arthur is said to have influenced many 20th century artists with his works, including Van Morrison, Jim Morrison, Patti Smith and Pete Doherty, to name a few. Looking for some good food in the sixth? Then your first stop should be Angelina's at the Jardin de Luxembourg, right out the front of the Musée de Luxembourg, which is one of the most fantastic doors I've seen in Paris. You can also sit and relax and watch the world go by at Café La Plette. Or have an expensive meal at the world famous Le Deux Maggot, where famous writers have once eaten in the same seats that you're going to be sitting on. That's what you pay for, I think. Fountain saint sapice is also known as the Fountain de Quatre Point Cardinal, La Fountain de Point, La Fountain de Quatre, Le Fountain, La Fontaine, de Court Point Cardinal, which means the Fountain of Four Cardinals, as it faces north, south, east and west. The name is also a pun because the Point Cardinal in French is a play on words. It can be understood as the Point Cardinal, which means not cardinals. Does that confuse you or does that confuse me? I'm not sure. I think a little bit of both. I'm here at the Church St. Sapice, which you'd probably know from the Tom Hanks Dan Brown movie, The Da Vinci Code. This is where the Prime Meridian line is supposed to go right through, although there is a sign inside that says that there was never a pagan church on this site, despite what the movie said. But like, we don't all believe what movies say, do we? I mean, I did follow that yellow brick road once, and look where that got me. And every time I'm in Austria, I do make dresses out of the fabric from the hotel curtains. The Sixth Arrondissement is also home to one of the oldest theatres in the world, the Odeon Theatre. Built in the 1700s, the Odeon Theatre is one of six national theatres of France. 
The church Saint Germain de Pre I covered in my video on where to stay in Paris, Saint Germain area, which you can watch via the link above here. Its grounds and fence are home to many exhibitions and also this Art Nouveau ceramic portico which was built in the 1900 World Fair. Paris is known for its fashion and the 6th is to some the fashion store district of Paris, so it's the perfect spot to hang out at sales time. And whilst you're looking for some great fashion, you should also check out some great art as well in the many galleries in the 6th. When you're in the 6th, you should make sure you take a walk along the River Seine and its many booksellers to pick up something to remember Paris by. The Pont des Arts links the 1st to the 6th and it has a fantastic view of the Seine. It was the spot where everybody put padlocks on the fence to celebrate their relationships. The city council, however, took them down as the weight of all those padlocks was destroying the bridge and it feared that it was just going to fall into the Seine. Need some Euro? Well, across from the Pont des Arts is the Monet de Paris, which is where all the French Euro coins are made. So it's the French Mint. I love mints. All that money. Count the money. De money. De money. Count the money. Along the Seine is your chance to check out the world famous French fireman, with the city's river fire station located just on the 6th. The oldest bridge in Paris is the Pont Neuf, and it's also located on the 6th on the River Seine. This old bridge, whose name means New Bridge, ironically, is a great spot for a fantastic view of the city. And that perfect Instagram moment. YouTube says you should watch this video next. Lenny, well, Lenny, are you interested? Apparently not. Great, but whatever you do, hit the subscribe button just here so you can subscribe to Fabulousness. That's what Lenny wants you to do. He wants you to subscribe to Fabulousness and watch me next week.